working to defeat crime and make neighborhoods safer. I'm Peter Carl, and this is Chicago Crime Watch. The 8th District rolls out a new unit to fight crime in the area. Every day, the officers get a unique opportunity to get up close and personal with the community. Guys, we've got a problem with tagging in the Durkin Park area. Got some handouts with possible suspects. It's the start of the day in time for roll call. Sergeant Alan Kane updates the six-member team on problems in the community, complaints brought up at CAPS meetings, and the latest on wanted suspects. After getting their assignments, it's off to the garage. There, they grab a bike, not a squad car, and hit the road. The 8th District Bike Patrol Unit started April 1st. They ride in teams of two and cover 25 to 30 miles a day. Bad weather doesn't stop them. They're out in the rain, the heat, and the cold. I'd like to consider us a high-profile, proactive team. We don't necessarily respond to radio assignments, but we're out there trying to prevent crimes before they happen. And I think that's one of the greatest aspects of us. You know, we can get up close. We can get onto a, a possible offender prior to him knowing we're even there. The bike team rides through parks, neighborhoods, and up and down the business areas. In six months, the unit has accumulated an unprecedented amount of activity. The officers, they've come across numerous felony narcotics arrests. They've, they've recovered guns. They've wrote numerous, uh, actually over 3,000 parking citations, municipal violations. A lot of the activity we do is checking business licenses, permits for vendors, basically citizen complaints. There's a lot of complaints for tagging, uh, gang loitering, narcotics. It's a variety of many different things, and we kind of work hand in hand with CAPS. The officers attribute their success to the access the bikes give them. They say they can ride into areas that squad cars can't. In a car, I don't care how slow you're going, you're not going to see like in the gangways or things in the alley or, you know, things go, you know, like people with big hedges. You're not, you're not going to see the things that are going around there. Also, because you're not going as fast, you're in that particular area longer, so you can actually see what is going on in those little nooks and crannies that are sometimes overlooked. The officers also say patrolling the district on bikes gives them a good opportunity to interact more closely with the public. There's no squad car acting as a barrier between them and the people. A lot of times you say hi to people on their front porches, where before you would say hi in your squad car and you just wave and you keep going. Where on a the bike, there's a lot of times you pass the people and they say, hey, can you come back here for a second? Then they tell you about a problem in the area and you don't, you just don't get that when you're riding in a squad car. We actually get to ride around and talk to the people cutting their lawns who tell us what's going on in their neighborhood. We get to talk to the people who are sitting on their porch or the neighbors. They want to come out and talk to us. We're here with the 8th District uh, Bicycle Police Team and we're here to talk to you today about uh, some bike Along with their unprecedented activity, the team developed a PowerPoint bicycle safety program for kids in kindergarten through third grade. They visit schools and park districts demonstrating the importance of bike safety. We saw a need for kids that weren't riding their helmets. We thought it would be a good idea to start providing training and bicycle safety. Another thing that you should check is make sure that the, uh, the handlebars are uh, a, a good height. You don't want to be hunched over too much. We show them the bikes, we show them the uh, different parts of the bikes, explain some of the different safety, uh, safe ways to ride. What about, what about if we put it up like that? <laughs> What's the best way to wear a helmet? One of the most important safety tips the officers stress to the kids is to wear a helmet when they get on a bike. And judging by the reaction, the message came through loud and clear. If you don't wear a helmet, you could that you could fall and you could hurt your head really bad. I learned about when that you have to wear your helmet so you won't um, fall or anything from, from your bike and you always have to ri um, ride your bike on the sidewalk. If you don't wear your helmet, you can get hurt really bad, get staples or stitches. If you don't wear a helmet, then something bad might happen to you when you crash. Would you have to wear a helmet? and be safe and ride on the sidewalk. The school's principal says programs like the bike safety lesson help build positive relationships between the children and police. 
I think it's very important so the children know that the policemen are their friends and they're here to help and that they're not, they shouldn't be afraid of them. They should, you know, look for them to help if they need help. The bike team lined up five area sponsors for the program. During the presentation, they hand out coupons from the local Kmart for a discount toward the purchase of a helmet. The officers say since they started, they've had tremendous support from the community. It's hard to get a program off the ground if you don't have support of the community and the citizens behind you. And I think they've been a great help. We have citizens stopping us and talking to us, not only about crime, but thanking us for being present in their community. Mulligan. The bike team also rewards kids who bike safely. When they see a kid on a bike wearing a helmet, they stop and give them a gift certificate for free ice cream, donated by four local restaurants. Chicago police have shut down another street corner drug operation this one on Chicago's south side. 13 people face drug charges. It's the result of community complaints about drug sales near 71st and Walcott Avenue. The three month investigation included undercover video surveillance, undercover narcotics purchases, and also audio recordings of the individuals involved in this open air drug market. This was a huge arrest for, for the city. In fact, these guys are off the street now. Uh, this connectivity will not be tolerated in the 7th District. And we are encouraging all the residents of the community not to be afraid to speak up, tell somebody, tell, make a complaint. As you can see, there are strategies that the police department have that can uh, solve the problem, can make a difference. Operation Arches is the first mission directed at ecstasy sales. That's the latest from the Crime Watch News team. I'm Peter Carl. Thank you for watching.